so excited. Beer check! <laughs> I was just waiting for a growl to go, oh. <laughs> And it was. It was fucking great. All the orbs are going to be on your white pants. <laughs> You guys know that we are one throner away from a fucking OG premiere reunion. OG to me. I wasn't. I wasn't here in the uh, in the other Zach days. Gray. I played bassist in a Christian band with my brother. My name is Zach Gray. Hey, what's up, Craig? Are you looked at the door? All right. I don't know what it is. Just be like, I'm gonna fuck you up, Terry. For God. <laughs> Bro, I'm All right. This next song is about a guy who blows himself up. It's secretly a letter of hate to my ex girlfriend. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. This song's called Normal Shit.
If I... If my son happens to be watching this online. What's up, buddy? Love you, buddy. Right. <laughs> He'll understand. Um, <laughs> this next song is going to be... It's going to be our radio cut. <laughs> if we ever put anything. <laughs> this, song, this next one's our most classically written song. <laughs> and it's a 2-3, three, or 3-4 three, waltz. So, two, three, yeah. <laughs> Only two, two, two divisions of three. <laughs> Let's straighten that time too much. There's no such thing. Not yet. <laughs> Dean. Oh, Dean also what do you know about rhythm? Time is a myth. Time signatures are a myth. What do you know about rhythm? You play a wrist and plate drummer. <laughs> this next one's called uh, Waltz. <laughs> It's got a longer title than that, but it's stupid, so it goes on the, for the official listing. But then there's the song's called Waltz. <laughs>
BOGO weekend. Uh, but I should have told you guys about Waltz. Is that my lyrics? Or does, it, does anybody watch uh, a show on Nickelodeon called Salute Your Shorts while you're growing up? No. Then episode. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm old as fuck. <clears throat> then an episode about a guy called, uh, like a legendary guy called Zeke the Plumber. And it was terrifying. This episode, like, was scary as fuck. And basically that entire song was written from his perspective, so. Do some homework, go watch the Zeke the Plumber episodes. <laughs> Salute your shorts, that shit was awesome. Had like, can't go on one of these dinner. You know. Alright, anyways. <clears throat> Were you plumbing when you wrote it? No. He's, he's a plumber. Like, but like, he like pulls stuff up like dead cats from the toilets and shit. And he's like, he wears a fake face over his real face. Like, and it's like clear, it's clear taped on. It's like real shoddy job. That's just the best it's, way It's terrifying, dude. It was so, such a good episode. Uh, all right. We're going to do something um, very unlike us. Actually, since I've been in this band, we've done it once before. And it was while we were performing with Bravira in this very same building. But uh, we're going to play a cover. Yeah, we covered the Ninja Turtles theme song that night. But, uh, well, we, that's what we did that night. We're not playing that one. Well, we're going to play you guys a cover. And, uh, Wait, you guys are playing Death Protector? <laughs> Close. We're still learning that one. Shut up. <laughs> that's, that's our song. You know? That, that kid is always trying to rile me up, but he's, he forgets that he's a drummer. That means he has half my IQ. I don't have a band anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just speaking facts here. All right. Uh, this, is some, this, is a, this is a classic. A classic from back in the day. Which is, like, so crazy to even say that and think it. I know, right? But, uh, yeah. We're going to play you guys a Mudvayne song. Holy shit. Right? You might know it. A little ditty called Death Blooms. I watched a music video earlier today of Revere's Battle of the Sons, and I saw Dean playing drums, and I was like, wow, look at him, back when he friggin' meant something. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Instead of wow. sad, dried up, poor, broken arm <laughs> man we see today, who's just an annoyance to this band. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm sorry, Dean, I've made you the subject of my radio. I love him. Oh, yeah. 
expect to be the same tonight. So I'm going to try second newest song. And it's the one that I've been uh, White Lightning. No, it's not. <laughs> to me. I'm speaking from my perception, asshole. God, drummers, dude, right? Right? Fuck it. <laughs> this next song is called Whips and Chains. It's a good one. I mean, I don't want to sit here and jack us all off, you know. That's that's for later. Um, but it's good. No. Zach only gets the mouth. I've got like 20 more things to say building up, so I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one starts off kind of, uh, like, whoa! <laughs>
natural bass drops, <laughs> aka blue whale sounds that are sped up. <laughs> That's actually a true fact. No, all you need is <laughs> yeah. No, man, there ain't no fake news. This is this is local news, independent, like one of the real independent ones, not one like Great Bird or whatever the fuck that company is. Anyways, uh, 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 this next song was on the day that I first put in my bit to be the vocalist of this band. Matt Cox showed me the little riff in this song, and I was like, God damn. All I could think, I hadn't hung out with Matt in years, and I was like, when did he become a better guitar player than me? <laughs> and I was like, dude, you need to be a part of this band. And because I'm fucking the center of the universe, everything gets, I get, I get my way. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You thought it was you, but it's been me this whole time. Uh, this song's called To The Throat, and anybody who's ever had sleep paralysis, it sucks. <laughs> it makes you write songs about how bad it does. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, drummer. All right, man. <laughs> Night. The big homie going down to Florida. Sorry. 
were just watching those packets to the store to not get a pack of cigarettes or a beef stick. Yeah. <laughs> he could be killed or just eaten by a fucking gator. <laughs> Stay away from the clip from the golf course, buddy. Also, I was, uh, I was telling Steve earlier, I was like, it's not too often you run across somebody who's not only straight edge, but vegan as well, and he never talks about it. It's not like anti-fight club rules normally for these things. I was like, two. Never even talks about it. What was your first lyrics? Usually he's a pessimist, but you're telling me he's right, right? Figure so appreciated for many reasons by me. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for being here, Matt. Yeah, man, thank you. Like, seriously, like, when I joined into this band, like, I've, I've been in bands and playing music all my life, but, man, the business aspects of it, I just, I didn't, I didn't know promoting or anything like that. And Steve really, really helped me out. <laughs> many times through just good advice and general help like, honestly he's been such a such an amazing friend and like cohort i'm lucky actually to have ever been able to share the stage with this wonderful man um so yeah give it up for fucking steve that uh, incredible artist and even better person all right i actually had the idea <laughs> I actually had the idea several years ago that uh, we should trade this song to Bravira. I was like, I want to give them this song and then we can take it for us to talk. <laughs> this next one is our first song. It's called You've Been Lied To. Yeah! See, Ian's on bass. Yes! <laughs> songs right there and we're still going that's the power of this fan <laughs> not even bullshit dude. <laughs> dude when we played that halloween show we were all dressed as the ninja turtles we had the full fat costumes you know with the melted muscles and everything i lasted like one song i was like i gotta take this shit off dude like i will die that shit was rough for oh us too God. remember connor oh boy do i have yeah, dude. <laughs> we all just basically threw the suits away afterwards. We're like, that, dude, this is biohazard. I still have that somewhere. I love it too that uh, I just I, on a whim photoshopped all the guys in Bravira as the Power Rangers. And, <laughs> thank you. I actually used the picture of Steve from his wedding. 
Um, <laughs> he called me out on it right away. He's like, you see a picture from my wedding? <laughs> yup. Uh, and they kept to it. They kept to the colors. Connor was the Pink Ranger. It was fucking awesome. You'd be doing fucking like soy boy face in my picture. I remember that. <laughs> You're the one who took it. It's <laughs> <laughs> common property up in front of you. Soy boy. Soy boy. I drink milk. I'm actually kind of pissed that like almond milk took over the market of non-dairy milk. Nah, dude. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. What's oh, up? Oat milk. Oh, yeah. I got yeah. to do it. Now, dude. Even later. Yeah. Man, I'm all about I'm all about that soy milk. I'll deal with titties, dude. Fucking soy boy. Yeah, I'm about it, dude. They took away my my silk berry vanilla, dude. Like fucking, it's like the most unhealthy, unhealthy uh, milk alternative. It's basically the taco salad of milk. Taco salad, the most unhealthy salad in the world. All right. Anyways, this next one's about a country. In Africa, but not really. It's about a it's about a girl who's got the name of a country in Africa. This song is called Tanzania. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you. I'll go along that drum beat. <laughs> you, you'd have to be good to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to stop picking on you, Dean. You've got to stop just speaking in a way that I can hear you. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm going to just uh, take a second. We do have mini merch, kind of. Yeah, we got stickers for the people present. Um, also, we have... They're not, they're not the best, the printing was kind of small on it, but we have fountain pens <laughs> with gelatin skeleton lo logos on it. Sweet, how much and for 15, see? you can get the deluxe version, which comes with a handcrafted custom fucking coffin that, you know, you just tell me what you want on it or what kind of shit you like, and I fucking sit there at my house bored with no job, and I fucking paint it, and then I, I seal it and sand it and buff it, and, fucking, and then I screw it together, and that's where it all goes wrong, so it might come all, out all fucking sideways, but... It'll be pretty. You fix it yourself. <laughs> That's my own shoddy work, and I don't represent this band. Except for what I do, which is not with the comments. It's just I bought 50 of them, and I was like, oh, man, I'm going to do something with these. <laughs> Anyways, as soon as the fucking drummer's ready, I guess, I'm going to tell you a story. Well, I was waiting for you to be ready. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want another 814 fest occurrence with, with a beat late. <laughs> he's, he's my fucking nemesis. I don't know if you guys can tell that. I love him. I love this kid so fucking much, dude. You guys don't even know. But I'm going to tell you a story. It's a true story. And it's, it's just all about. <laughs> from not only Steve, but also from Dreadman. We got, we've got the cats on the tracks, baby. We should have gotten the part. <laughs> All right, this next one's our last song. I don't know, unless we get fucking frogged. <laughs> we, we prepared for Terry's, especially if they wanted to hear the throw game. I made a text message with that song. Like, oh, Alright, this next one is, to me, our newest song. <laughs> Apparently to everybody else, it's our second newest. This song uh, just got its name changed, what, ten minutes before this? The song's called, A Horse of Habit.
been a pleasure. Steven played the show for you every night if you could. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for not pressuring us to do a... Fuck you, Playmaster.